since I put the new tyres on the, the RS4 rims and having done the track rod ends, the bottom ball joints and the wheel bearing, the steering wheel is slightly off centre and it feels as though it's very light and tracking going down the road and it slightly pulls to the right. So it'll either be towed out or towed in and when it's towed out it generally tracks more you know when you go down an uneven road and when it's towed in the steering goes ever so slightly lighter and I suspect that it's towed in slightly because the steering is sort of light and then occasionally it pulls to the right on the road. So I don't have any expensive tracking equipment but what I've got is a piece of rope and I'll show you my Heath Robinson way of checking the tracking. So the first thing to do is to tie it round the back of the, the back wheel. Just tie it in a very loose double knot. And pull it up about halfway up the wheel. And the idea is to get it level in the back wheel like that and then move on to the front wheel. And all that I do is bring it towards the front wheel like that and you just touch the back of it on the tyre at the back. And as I suspected, it's towed in, and it's towed in about five millimetres. So I've got it jacked up, get the wheel off, but I'm going to spread the tracking over the two wheels, so I'll do the same on the other side, and then just split the difference between the two. So as soon as I jack it up and take the wheel off it starts to rain doesn't it? But it's not a long job so I'm just going to get on with it. So the first thing to do is slacken off this nut here which I've already done and take it back two or three turns and then what I want to be doing is towing it out this way so this has actually got to be pulled in a bit. But first of all I'll put a little mark on this so that I know obviously how many turns that I'm going to be giving it. I'll turn it clockwise. It's a two-handed job but I'll just show you how I turn it. And this is a 13 millimeter spanner and that that nut there is 22 millimeters. And because I've replaced these recently, they're turning very easily. Otherwise I might have had to have given that a bit of heat. So I'll just get that done. And on this side, because the steering is pointing slightly to the right, I'm going to turn this about two turns, and on the other side, maybe a turn, turn and a half, just to even it out to get the steering wheel straight and tow it out that five millimetres. That's it tight now. So I'm going to put the wheel back on, jack it down and do the other side. So I've got the left wheel off now. I've slackened the nut off. I'm going to turn this. Clockwise one turn. I actually turn the other side a turn and a half because I think that's all it'll need. And I'll do this side one turn. So it's back to the way where the yellow mark is. Tighten that up, keeping the yellow mark straight at all times. There you go, nice and tight. So that's it done. I'll get the wheel back on and I'll do my little piece with the string again. I'll also take it down the road, see if the steering wheel's straight, and when I get back in, I'll double check it again with the string and see if everything's all lined up. 
put the cheap EB centre caps back on and this is probably the worst part of the whole job so they're a nightmare to fit So the steering wheel's straight, so I'm going to get the string back on and have a look and see if it's lined up. <laughs> Spot on! Double check this side, and it's lovely and straight. So both sides are lining up beautifully, and the steering wheel is lovely and level. Now I know it's a Heath Robinson way of doing things. You know, if I had a three-year-old Audi RS4 or something like that, I would take it to you know a proper alignment centre. But it's only an old A2, and I've actually aligned an old Audi Quattro, but you have to align all four wheels with this method and I took it away to an alignment centre and it was absolutely spot on. So, you know, there's a lot to be said for all the old methods and this one I found over the year works pretty well. Mm -hmm.